The name of the conference that we attended this summer was called the Broadway Teachers Workshop in New York. We, some of the workshops we went together, mm -hmm. and we all the workshop includes looking at four different Broadway shows in addition to some backstage tours, so lots of that stuff we were together for, but then specific, I know that you did a big workshop on the scenic elements, mm -hmm. and I did a big workshop on oral communication skills, how to have conflict resolution, and then we shared what we each learned in the other one's workshops. Uh, we saw Rocky on Broadway, which is the Rocky Balboa story, just similar to the movie. Uh, Heathers the Musical, which was the 80s movie Heathers, which is great. That's probably one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if Then, then. starring Idina Menzel. Bullets. Bullets over Broadway. And just a scattering of extra shows that we saw on our own. And we, I think we were both really surprised. Rocky was our favorite. Yeah. We didn't expect to love Rocky, and we fell in love with Rocky. The performances were really honest and technically the possibly the best yeah. set we've ever seen on Broadway. Some of the key takeaways, in addition to just getting you really excited about doing your job again, um, I think that we came up with a few really great ideas. So mm -hmm. we are doing um, a royalty at three, which is a princess party for little kids, which came directly out of a conversation that we had with some other theater artists, mm -hmm. saying that it was a really great fundraiser for them and it sort of supported their children's theater program. So we're planning that in December now. We're pretty excited about that. Uh, the key takeaways for me were a lot of the tech stuff, like Susan said, getting really excited about your job and looking at things a different way on how to create or build things. Um, we had a, I had a great workshop with a prop maker, a Broadway prop maker, um, who like just sort of got my brain going on how to make things that you wouldn't normally think about turning into, like using water bottles for door molding, you know, like chopping them, stuff like that, that you, as a creative person, your mind's always going, but you forget about those mm -hmm. things. And so sort of bringing it back to don't overlook these small items when creating. I think as artists, we constantly put out. We are constantly doing lots of shows, and last year was a really heavy season for us. And so we constantly were giving of our art, and this was a great opportunity to get refilled, to be really excited about things, and to realize that what we're doing is exactly the jobs they're doing, just in a different venue.